Hello travelers, welcome back. Today I have for you this crazy, really, really crazy advanced OU Wi-Fi bell and it's against Ors, my good friend, just got to know him. He's a really cool guy, he has uh, a channel where he posts old generation Wi-Fi bells. Pretty cool and he's a very experienced player from PO, so definitely check him out. Link in the description. So there we go, let's get straight into this crazy match and yeah, so I'm gonna start with my Swampert, he's gonna start with his Gengar. Straight off the bat, I'm afraid of the will o -Wisps and I'm afraid of the Giga Drain. So I'm gonna send in my Zapdos to scout what this Gengar can do. He goes for Hypnosis, so it's like a Generation 1 Gengar, it's pretty cool. And I'm gonna take the Ice Punch, I know I can take the Ice Punch, right? Go for the Sleep Talk, you know, try to get a Thunderbolt or a Thunder Wave or something. No, I got critted. No! Zapdos is gonna go down. <laughs> so anyways, I'm gonna send in Swampert, and he hits another Hypnosis. I'm gonna take the Sleep, burn a Sleep turn, and I'm still scared of the Giga Drain. So I'm gonna switch out to my own Gengar, but he doesn't go for it. So now it's like pretty much confirms that he doesn't have the Giga Drain. But he got the freeze! He got the freeze! Oh my god, my Gengar got frozen right now, and I'm just staying in and I took another Thunderbolt for no reason, I have no idea how I stayed there. Um, so yeah, Gengar frozen, Zapdos got credit, my team got pretty much... Uh, oh my god, like, it got destroyed. <laughs> so I'm gonna send in Celebi and I'm gonna take the Thunderbolt and I'm gonna take the Ice Punch and at this point I just can't over predict. I just can't, so I'm just gonna try to go for the Psychic and just hit this Gengar, because this Gengar is just destroying everything. He goes for another Ice Beam. Thankfully no freeze this time, and yeah, in comes the Psychic, and just go away Gengar, god damn it. <sighs> Gonna finish off the Gengar, but as you guys know, he has the perfect revenge killer of the third generation Dog Trio. I can't switch out, I can't do anything. He has the Choice Banded Hidden Power Bug, 4 times super effective, and Celebi... No way in hell Celebi is gonna take that, so <laughs> I'm just gonna bite the dust, and there you go, another Pokemon who's gonna go down, so I'm gonna switch, uh, I'm gonna send in Skarm, just go for Layer Spikes, and since I'm really rusty, I completely forgot about Magneton's existence in this metagame. And I'm trapped again, and Thunderbolt is just gonna ruin my life. And goodbye Skarmory, another Pokemon who's gonna bite the dust again, and at this point we just started taking this game as a joke, and yeah, we just started laughing, because we just had the best l start ever, seriously, so... Gonna send in Solomon, gonna go for the Fire Blast, but Magneton is gonna survive it because he has Sturdy, right? <laughs> so, yeah, um... Thunderbolt is gonna do a huge amount of damage, god! And... By the way, I was just joking about the fact that Magneton has sturdy. Don't call me a noob or anything in the comments. Because, uh, you know, I know how some internet people are. But anyways, since I'm banded, I need to risk another Fire Blast. And luckily for me, I'm not gonna miss this time. And yeah, he sends in Jolteon. I don't want to take a Hidden Power Ice, so I'm gonna switch out to Swampert, which he forgot about my Swampert. He completely forgot it. And now he's feeling bad that he sacked his Magneton, because Magneton is the only way he could have dealt with uh, my Swampert, because he does have the Hidden Power Grass. So now we have a chance, somehow, and we're gonna try to take it, but he reveals the Cloister, and I'm really scared of, of the Cloister, because Cloister has Ice Beam, and my team, for some reason, doesn't really appreciate Ice, so I need to fix that in the future. And yeah, I'm gonna take the Surf, hopefully wake up, I need to wake up, because Swampert is my only chance right now, so... Yeah, I'm gonna take another Surf, it's doing a little bit, but I don't wanna take more Surf, so I'm gonna wake up, try to get some damage there, I'm gonna go for an Earthquake, I wanna uh, wear down this Cloister so it will be on the range of my Salamence's Hidden Power Flying. So yeah, it's all good, so... Gonna try to stay in, see if he's gonna overpredict and go for the Ice Beam. 
and yeah I do took I took the surf I'm gonna go for the earthquake and now I see that he's just there spamming surf because he wants to take down my swampers because swampers is a problem and he also he told me that he also has explosion and at this point he was thinking of exploding and let's see I'm gonna send in Gengar did he explode booyah he didn't explode and he wants for surf he told me that he was this close of pressing explosion, and if he actually did press explosion, it would have been more hilarious. This match, this match is actually crazy, and it would have been more crazy, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm gonna send in Salamence, as he sends in his own Salamence. At this point, I need to go for the Rock Slide, Choice Banded Rock Slide, but he sends in Salamence, got an Intimidate there, and the Rock Slide is a 2 KO. Gonna try to risk the Speed Tie and hopefully hit the rock slide so i need to win the speed tie and hit the rock slide but he told me that his salamence doesn't have max speed because he has like a specific ev, uh, EV spread that allows him to survive uh, hidden power ice and ice beams from certain pokemon so that's pretty smart but i don't see myself running that because you know you guys know me i i'm all about the speed even though this is third gen and the mechanics are a bit different you know, I like having max speed on my sweepers, but anyways, in comes Jolteon, he goes for substitute, no big deal, I do have the roar, but here he misclicked, he was thinking of going for the baton pass, but he just straight away switched, but luckily for him I didn't surf, and I just went for roar, so it didn't really matter, thankfully, and yeah. His Jolteon is gonna come back in, and here it's my turn to misclick, because you guys know, when we chat, we actually press actual button of the emulator on VBA, so it's... Misclicks tend to happen sometimes, so I wanted to go for the roar, because the switch was kinda obvious, but I just earthquaked. It's no big deal. Again, it's just more damage on the cloister. Fun fact that I was really scared of the Ice Beam, but... After the match, he told me that his cloister doesn't have the ice beam, which is, which is really cool. I guess I, I'm not used to third gen anymore. I really don't know. I actually have never used cloister, which is weird. Well, whatever. Um, I've never used cloister in gen three. Um, I would use ice beam on cloister if it was me, because, like I said, I think a lot of pokes that are actually good in this gen are actually weak to ice, so Ice Beam could be a really good option, but he already has his Jolteon with ice, uh, with Hidden Power Ice, so yeah. So predicting another surf, I'm gonna go for my Salamence. I think his Cloister is on the range of my Choice Banded Hidden Power Flying, so I'm gonna go for it. And it is gonna be enough to take down the Cloister. And yeah, the match went from fun to a little bit serious. And in comes Dogchio. I'm gonna predict him not to go for Rock Slide and go for the Earthquake, and he does, so I stayed in, and the Hidden Power Flying Choice Bandit is gonna be able to finish off the Dog Trio, oh my god. And this pretty much settles the game, but I was, we kinda wanted to have a little bit of fun in the end, and make the battle rely on a crit, so if he actually gets a crit on my Swampert, which after I'm gonna break the substitute, we're gonna decide to go for the switch to so Swampert. Uh, if he gets just one crit, he's gonna win. If he doesn't get a crit, I'm gonna win. So, yeah, since it was a crazy match, we decided to opt for a crazy ending. So let's go. Uh, is he gonna get a crit? Let's see. There's the Hidden Power Eyes. It's not gonna crit. He still has one chance. One chance to crit. Is he gonna pull this one off? Let's see. Swampert. Is Swampert gonna take this Hidden Power Ice? Is it gonna be a crit? Let's go. Hidden Power Ice. And Swampert survived. Oh my god. And the Earthquake. And... It... Oh my god. I have no words how to describe this game. It was crazy. So, <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed. And thanks for playing ours. Uh, it was really cool. Really cool game, you guys check out his channel, he's an amazing player, amazing person, everything. So be sure to leave your awesome feedback as always, and I'll be seeing you guys next time. Have a nice day, and peace out.